the roof on this state-of-the-art facility. It would have already been blown off by the American women denying the Jamaicans the gold in their 4x1. What noise will we witness now? Sean Sappho Antwi goes lead leg for Ghana, but watch for Azamati, who got his national record down to 9.9 .9 earlier this season. He's on the back straight. The South Africans came through really well. Third in their semi-final. Sambine ran a fabulous anchor leg. Could he do so again? Great Britain, silver in Doha. They were second in the first semi-final. Mitchell Blake ran the second bend and Prescott has got his times back down to 9.93. Jimmy Fico brought the French home with a victory in the second of the semi-finals. What a story it would be for them if they were to take this crown. The Canadians, a silver medal last year. Jerome Blake down the back straight. He's in PB shape over the one and the two. And DeGrasse goes anchor leg for them. He's had a tough week. It'll be a great end for him. Coleman, the former world champion. To Lyles, the reigning world champion over 200. Hall on the third leg. 100 metre medalist Marvin Bracey on the anchor leg. The USA will be the favourites here. Can they deliver as their female counterparts have just done? Hakeem Blake to Johan Blake down the back straight. The veteran will be hoping to hold nerve together. Watch for Seville round that second bend. The Jamaicans are really excited about him. De Nascimento leads the Brazilians off with Eric Cardoso on anchor leg for them. South American record when they finished fourth three years ago in Doha. Brazil in one, Jamaica in two, USA three, Canada four, France five, Great Britain six, South Africa seven, Ghana in lane eight. This is the last act on what has been a brilliant penultimate night of the 2022 World Athletics Championships. Can the U.S. win all of the sprint races? One, two, four, 110 hurdles, and the four by one. There was a long hold, and now an explosion of energy on the track and in the stands. What a leg by Christian Coleman, pulling away from the Jamaicans. It wasn't a perfect changeover. I tell you what, Jerome Blake is running well on that second leg. Really good changeover again by the Canadians. The Jamaicans are miles down at the moment. Paul to Bracey. And the Canadians are holding them to grass. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Gold to Canada. And after what a difficult season it's been for DeGrasse, he tastes gold in the 4x1, just as he did over the 200 metres last year in Tokyo. It was not to be the double for the Americans. Coleman got out brilliantly for them at the beginning, but a series of crisp changeovers for the Canadians. In short, it is a North American nation on top of the podium, but it's not the hosts. It's their northerly neighbours. And somehow, after an awful year of injury and illness with COVID, De Grasse comes out on top for Canada once more. What a way to finish for them. The Americans were closing, but De Grasse had the composure and the experience to see them home. Great Britain coming home for the bronze ahead of Jamaica a fabulous moment for them and despite the fact that Bracey was coming De Grass held good they had a brilliant changeover a brilliant changeover from two to three the Canadians Blake ran really well round that down that back straight the Americans were under pressure. The Jamaicans must have had a couple of awful changeovers because they got great men in their lineup. And now Great Britain celebrate, backing up their silver from Doha. 
It's, it feels like a little bit of an anti-climax tonight because the Americans were expecting to do the double. Their women delivered, but the American men did not bank on the fabulous teamwork by the Canadians. Well, here we get a look at Christian Coleman coming out of the blocks. Nobody probably better to put on that first leg. But it was not a great changeover here from Christian Coleman to Noah Lyles. Lyles had to slow down just a little bit, but you know he's going to run great on that back straight. Let's see what this second exchange looks like. This is Elijah Hall. He's had a great season. We've been waiting for him to appear the last couple of seasons. University of Houston, Carl Lewis and Leroy Burrell prodigy. But Bracey had to slow down just a little bit, and it was just that little tiny gap that DeGrasse got on Marvin Bracey, and Bracey just was not able to reel him in. And we've been waiting to see Andre DeGrasse really run well, and we always see him in championship form. And here in the 4x100 meters, we saw his best at these championships. And I have to say this again. Jerome Blake to Brendan Rodney round that second leg to third leg was an incredible changeover and Rodney to DeGrasse was pretty good as well that was Reese Prescott on the left of picture bringing Great Britain home ahead of the Jamaicans who at this stage had a massive amount of ground to make up despite the fact that they had Seville on that third leg oh, he even had the time and the composure <laughs> to celebrate and make the most of that moment I mean, he is a brilliant championship performer, DeGrasse. Bronze in the 100 last year, then he stormed to the 200. He didn't start the 200 metres because he felt like he was way below it, but he saved himself for the relay, and he had the final word at the end of the short sprint relay, and the Canadians could barely contain their joy. And again, that was a brilliant example of teamwork outshining individual stars and fantastic composure from DeGrasse down the home straight. I would have to call that an upset. Yes, I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. When you've got the likes of Coleman and Lyles and yeah. Bracey on the anchor leg and there have been question marks over DeGrasse in terms of his fitness and his form. Yes, that, and that is a great, great result for the Canadians. As I said, gold for the North Americans but nobody was expecting it to be your near neighbours, apart from them. And another medal for Great Britain. They go to these World Championships and they always seem to come home with some hardware. Yes, they'll be over the moon with that, they really will. Especially because they beat the Jamaicans. I'd love to, when we get the, the, the stats and the changeover splits, it'll be interesting to see where the Jamaicans lost ground because my eye was drawn to the...